YouTube, what's up? Scott here from Top Joy Sports Cards. Today's video, we're gonna go over a 25 card SGC vintage submission. Uh, gonna go over the reasons why I think SGC is better to grade vintage with than PSA. Like I say, it's all relative and all opinion. Grade with who you like to grade with, but I'm gonna tell you my reasoning. Um, so we get started here, I'm gonna slide these over to the side. Uh, one of the reasons is I sent these in on the 12th and today is the 23rd and I have them in my hand 11 days from the time they got them to the time they're back at my door so if you're looking to get cards back quick so you don't have all your money tied up you can start selling them take them to shows whatever you want to do that's one of the good reasons for me um, second I think they grade accurately their vintage uh, I think they're harder graders than PSA but I think they're great accurate so if I buy a card I feel like I should be able to look at that card and have an idea of what grade it's going to get within one grade uh, if you watch my last SGC vintage submission it was only four cards I did a video all in one video where I went over the four cards that I was getting graded and what I thought they'd get and if I remember right they all got one grade higher than I even thought they were gonna get so I was a little harder on them so also some lessons to be learned here um, check your cards out a little bit better than I did on I on two of them I don't say I got burned I made my own mistake I bought a couple of these at shows and I did not take them out of the top loader and the penny sleeve and two of them had creases that I missed when I got them ready for uh, to send them off I noticed it but like I say that was my mistake but when they're in the top loader with a penny sleeve you got the fluorescent lighting at a show sometimes it's just hard to see so and then we're gonna start out with the first one that I missed a crease on and that was this 60 Hank Aaron got a 3.5 beautiful looking card um, just a crease somewhere it's right there by the bridge and I missed that at the time so still happy with the grade I, I saw the crease before I sent it in but I'm like I'm still gonna get it sent in that way it's slabbed it's it's a beautiful looking card someone will still want that card next card 63 Hank Aaron Got a 6.5, really nice grade for that old of a card. Really beautiful card. Next one, got a 65 Hank Aaron, another 6.5. Um, this card, I pre-sold to one of my best friends. He got a look at it, knew I sent it in, and he said, hey, I'll give you X amount of dollars for that card right now and I'll take the risk on the grade um, we thought it might seven but six and a half still awesome grade on that card and he's still he's still ahead next card 69 Hank Aaron got a four little little ding up in that corner there heard it obviously a little OC right to left I'm still happy with all these grades I didn't want to do a pre-video where I would say what I thought the grades were going to be. It was just too many cards. Four, another ding up in that top right corner on a 1970 Hank Aaron. Um, all these cards will be for sale. You can reach out to me on any of my socials. I'll also have them on my eBay and my MySlabs page probably tomorrow, which is today as the video is posted because I'm going to edit this it's 10 o'clock at night on Friday I'm gonna edit it and probably run this video Saturday the 24th at about 9 in the morning we got a 60 Willie Mays 4.5 but yeah all but the card I just showed you the uh, 65 Aaron and there's two other cards at the end here I'll show you that are my buddies all the rest of these are mine 63 Willie Mays 
64 maize, 3.5. Sixty five maize, six point five, very nice. Sixty six maize, six. Sixty Clemente, five point five. Really like that card, like the design of that sixty set. Sixty three Clemente got a four. Another set that I like. Sixty four Clemente got a four. Sixty eight Clemente with a six. Seventy one Clemente got a six. 72 Clemente really nice grade got a 7 7 or that 61 Koufax got a 7 awesome grade on that Koufax for a card that is that old 63 Koufax with a 7 65 Koufax with a seven. 7. This card here I picked up at trade night at Shipshawana. It came back authentic, evidence of trimming. So fits in there good. I'm not sure where they saw that, but they know what they're doing, so I'll have to believe them. I took this on a trade at trade night, so sometimes that happens be weary people you'll probably never see again at a trade night this one I picked up at the actual show the next day and I'm happy with that grade on a card that I really like the vivid colors on it that's the 60 set Ernie Banks picked this up at ship Shawana the same day got a 5.5 I really thought it would 7 just so hard to grade with those vivid colors. You can see the whiting. And that corner's probably a little worse than what I saw at the time when I was getting it ready. But still a neat card on that Nolan, Nolan Ryan. That 75 set I like. This is the second card I missed the crease on. Uh, didn't see it till I was getting getting it ready to ship off. Joe Namath, 69, two and a half. And let's see if we can pick it up. Yep right there and there little bit of creasing so sometimes you learn lessons and hopefully if you guys watch this video you won't make that mistake these last two cards are my buddies this is his rose got a two he thought it was going to get a 1.5 or a one so he's actually happy with the two um he just has had this card for a long time and wanted to get it graded or not get it, get it slabbed get it protected so pete rose rookie with a two and here's a story on this card 89 tops traded king griffey jr if you watch my video from a month ago titled psa hates junk wax this card my buddy bought it was from one of those no name grading companies as a 10. didn't believe that you know it was a really nice looking card, but it's hard to believe a grading company with no name, you know, being a 10, but we still thought it would grade good. Cracked it, sent it to PSA, and if you look in the video, this card got a six from PSA. And I knew that was ridiculous. I had looked this card over. So we recracked it and sent it in this submission in this submission. And in my opinion, SGC grades harder than PSA and this card got a 9 so someone drop a comment tell me why this card got a 6 from PSA and SGC gave it a 9 so it's one of the reasons that I think they're they're 
especially their junk wax. They just they just throw numbers on it. I don't even think they look at the cards. The amount of cards they're pumping out, it's ridiculous. I'm not a PSA hater. I got a 20 card submission, 20 or 22 card submission. I'm sending in tomorrow, but it's modern. So in my opinion, PSA is a, the better company to send your modern to, but your vintage is better to go to SGC. I also really like the black border on the vintage cards. Um, that's just my opinion. I like the black border on the vintage, but I do like PSA modern slabs. So PSA SGC are the only two companies that I currently submit with. If there's a company out there that you like, drop a comment, let me know what company it is and why you like them. That's going to do it for this one, guys. And as always, happy collecting. Have a good one.